Is that... That's just a different chick, right? Thank you. Div, welcome on in. How you doing? Thank you guys for taking care of uh, all of our friends. What's, what's this game about, Master of Games? All right, so I'll give you a quick, quick, quick rundown. Okay? So... Uh, it's just like the last one. You are a, um, you're a reporter. So me and another reporter, were going out to, um, Arizona to, to figure out what happened to a woman and her baby that was mysteriously killed. Um, on the way out, the helicopter we were using to try to find the location crashed and only me and the woman survived. Um, but after the crash, I went to try to find her and... Right by where we crashed, there's like a cult camp, pretty much. So the cult has her, and I'm trying to get her out of the cult right now. That's pretty much what's going on. Comfy Friday, we love casual Fridays. We definitely love us some casual Fridays. Um, so that's like the long story short. Yep, we already did Outlast 1. It took us about five and a half, six hours to do the first Outlast. This? Um, so we are doing the second one right now. Ah, shit. And then if we are able to get through this tonight, we'll boot up Poppies and we'll start playing Poppies. And we'll do Poppies 1 and 2 uh, between today and tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday we'll have the day off. And then Monday and Tuesday we're going to try to finish up V Rising. We're pretty far on V Rising, so uh, we'll probably try to finish up V Rising Monday, Tuesday, take Wednesday off, and then I don't know what we're going to play Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the next week. Actually wearing glasses for once. It takes a little while for your eyes to get used to it. It'll get there. God knows what I've done, and, and he forces my eyes on it when I'm weak and when I'm scared. It's not my fault that Judah could not swim. Um... Or the lust he felt for me, I would have saved him had, had I the strength. I do not doubt you, God, but please spare me the suffering of such forced dreams even when I do not sleep. Um, I cannot keep watching him drown except my death as penance as I am newly heavy with Papa Noth's child and racked with the pain such I have never known. Surely the infant in my wound must be the archfiend for the affliction of my nightmares and agonizing for me and I'm yours. Okay, so lady came here suicided. Interesting. Because she was filled with the prophet's baby. I feel like this guy makes a lot of babies. Oh, you don't like... I gotcha. Don't like wearing them when using your headset. It takes a little while um, to get used to the feeling and to not have, like... You know what I mean? Because a lot of it's just, like, the pressure with the headset pushing on your ears and then pushing on the earpieces. Um, it takes a little while. I think you get used to it. I barely notice. Um, this is probably locked because why not? Yep. Because that would have just made sense. Walk up the stairs. Kind of wonder like what this map, like what this game would be like if it wasn't fucking pitch black. Do you know what I mean? Pressure. Yeah, I think it just depends on the headset. Like my, like with my Astros, I don't really have any problems. But um, I know different people in different headsets do. Like the hat. White Wolf Spain, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And the of an angel of God. Happy Healer, how are you? I don't know. I guess we go this way. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Give me a second. You're also creeping closer to stealing a tie. That's okay. I'm going to order some new ties this weekend. Um... I'm in desperate need of more ties. Oh, that's fucking a problem.
Can we go this way? Yeah, I'm in desperate need of more ties. It's gonna fall through here, right? Come on. Uh, what the fuck? Why? Why did he stand the fuck up? Uh, it could be better. First paycheck today. Meeting a burrito size of your forearm. That sounds good though, right? I'm fucking dead. What the fuck am I stuck on? Son of a bitch. I was fucking shaking it. Didn't do anything. That's okay. I don't mind that I died. Don't really care. I shouldn't have took the damage I did before. Couldn't be better. I see what you're saying. Um, I thought you said you could be better. See, like, this is what I was saying earlier. Wait, did I just do that wrong? I did. Kill me. Kill me. I fucked this up. Come on. Oh, fuck it. You know, whatever. I don't care. Um, but this is what I was talking about before when I was like, these kind of things make the game way less scary. Is because I know I'm just going to have to rerun this loop over and over and over again, right? Until I figure out what, um, what I'm doing wrong and the, like, the proper path. So... Because, like, those fucking... That pitchfork I never should have been hit by. Um, but my guy, like, broke the ground and then just stood up instead of, like, crouching or laying down. We'll see. All right, let's try to get through this. We'll, it'll probably take a couple times to figure out where the fuck we're supposed to go. See what I mean? Like, now that I know you have to hold crouch in, it's not as bad. But, like, before I knew I had to hold crouch in, like... Can we run? Like, I don't know. Are they going to follow me in here? Maybe? I don't know. The music calmed down. I think it's a safe zone. Right, let's heal because of my own stupidity. Um, okay. That's my bad. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I get it's part of the, the, like the whole Outlast experiences, the chases, but like, it's probably my least favorite part of all the Outlast games. Um, and I think it's it's probably supposed to be like your favorite part, but it's like definitely my least favorite part, um, of all the Outlast games so far. Which is sad because that's like, you know, that's what the Outlast games are, is like running. But like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't find that part of the game like impressive or fun. And I'm curious because like supposedly the next Outlast game might be multiplayer. So I'm curious how you would do this game in multiplayer. Well, it, the thing is... The way that the, the chase scenes are set up, you're bottleneck to run in a very specific direction. And if you don't go that specific way in the specific amount of time, you die. Well, after the first couple times you play the game and you die time and time and time again trying to get through a chase scene, the chase scene no longer feels scary or suspenseful. It just feels tedious because you're like, okay, I took a left. Now let's redo the scene and let's take a right this time. Okay, well, I took a right and I made it further, but 
this fucking door didn't open. Okay, now I need to do this. And you're just you're just trying to like remember a path. And it's not really made suspenseful. Like maybe the first time it's suspenseful, but then after you do it like three or four times, it kind of loses a lot of that. And that might be my, you know, obviously it's my opinion. It could be wrong. But it was one of the things that made me not want to play Outlast the very first time. Like the what the fuck? Like the first Outlast. Am I losing? Um, it's what made me stop playing it the first time. Uh, that and the fact that like I was only playing it a couple hours a day, so like when I did come back Shot, to it, gotta be close. when I did come back to it, I was like, eh, I mean, this is interesting, but I like, it's been, you know, a week since I played it and all I'm doing is running. Um, so. Going to heaven. God. Before they killed the children. You should have loved me. I, what am I doing? Well, come on in, Fairy Misfit. Um. So. We still have yet to see this big dopey fucker. I imagine we meet him towards the end of the game, though. Okay. Let's read this. Alright. Let's read it. Aim. The children should not fear their duty, but celebrate it. That is as it is a guaranteed entrance to heaven. Remember, there is no pain in heaven. Papa gave you life, and so your life is his. God gave you life, and so your life is his. You may not know that you are yourself the enemy. Your fear is a tool of the enemy. God knows best. Engage in study. While the whale saved Jonah from drowning, all the whale saved Jonah from drowning, Jesus in the desert with Satan, Abraham killed Isaac in his heart. Um, project, draw an angel, who could be the enemy? Interesting. Still don't understand how this is supposed to be helping me find the, the lady that I need to find. Ouch. I'm pretty sure I just did that wrong. I'm pretty sure that's not designed... I'm pretty sure I should have been able to make it out of that window and then walk off there and take no damage, but I'm pretty sure I fucked that all up. Game's not bad. Game's not bad. It's interesting. Um, it's not bad, though. Mom, Miss Carson said I could not tell you what they're going to do, but she did not say I couldn't write, so please not let them kill me. I love you and I love Daddy. Interesting. I'm sure I can figure a way to get over the fence. Um, probably the swings. Cart. Which fence am I supposed to be getting? Over? I'm guessing I'm supposed to be getting over that fence. Yeah. Yeah, you've got you've got a pair of mic. Yeah, you get a pair of mic in this game to help you like hear things, but I mean, I only think it's so helpful, especially depending on where you hide. Like some of the places you hide, you literally can't use it. So. Fucking crazy ass woman is everywhere. Where the fuck oh, am I going? Right. It's I guess so it's not this way. Mother Van. Three. Thank you very, very, very much, friend, for the resub. Thank you for the four months. 
Thank you very, very, very much, friend, for supporting me and supporting the channel for four months. I appreciate you. Thank you very, very, very much for the support, friend. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, like, you know it'd be nice? Like, waypoints. You can hear them from anywhere on it. No, that's true, but, like, I don't know. I've been having some fucked up stuff happen with, like, trying to find people and where I'm supposed to go and stuff. I'm sure it's definitely useful. Because you're supposed to use it to, like, find people pathing or whatever, I'm sure. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Yeah, I just have no idea where I'm going. It's gonna be a lot of off and on for you, I understand that. Hopefully it's not too bad, though. Yeah, hopefully it's not too terribly bad. These are just like prayer benches, oh my god, I'm heartfully sorry. And Tessa says, Okay. Well, no, it's not even that. Like, I've had issues where, like, the way the game designs the pathing, like, they always path to you, and then I, like, hide for couple seconds maybe 30 seconds a minute and pop out like i don't see anybody and as soon as i pop out they're like right in front of you and you're like all right i guess i'm gonna get hit i guess we gotta go through that <laughs> queen of the east welcome on in how are you doing? Thank you very, very, very much for the raid, friend. Chaos Rain, welcome on in. How are you? Welcome on in, guys. How are you guys doing? How was Phasmo? Welcome on in, raiders. How are you guys doing? Haven't seen them do that? I've seen them do that to me several times today. Um, welcome on in, raiders. How are you guys? How was your stream? Ah... Uh, how was a Phasmo? How were your hunts? Did you find all the ghosts? Did everything work out in your favor? Welcome on in, everybody. Where the fuck? I'm guessing this way. No idea where we're going. Did I literally just loop around for no reason? I feel like I literally just looped around for no reason. Where the fuck am I going? Didn't I literally just come out of this church? I literally just looped the whole map. I'm trying to get a lot of faz in before the new update. I think the update that's coming out, though, is mainly... Um, The update that's coming out is mainly just new map, right? Like, new map, a couple new ghosts. Um, welcome on in, Raiders. What are you, uh, what are you most excited about with the new update? Gotta go through the center and avoid the nut job woman. Oh, we gotta go under here, right? Didn't even see this last time. And I guess we've got to push it to there. And then we'll we'll probably have that crazy woman show up. And then we're going to have to run and jump. And then...
I mean, like... See, like, this is not... This is not scary to me whatsoever. What uh what what part excites you most about the update? See so, like to me she should be far enough away. I'm gonna take a hit. Like, why? The fucking pathing. Like, I don't care. Come on. Come on, I don't care. I need you on this fucking side of the map. Do you know what I mean? Like, why, why did she know right where I was at? I know I fucking outran her. I know I fucking outran her. Well, hello. Well, there. hello there, Jason. God damn it. How you doing, JC? Like this, not fun. Was it like the week from hell? Look, she fucking just broke through the wall for no reason. How the fuck did you get on my right? God damn it. Worse than hell if possible. I can understand that. I'm sorry though, mate. I'm sorry you had such a bad day. At least the work week's over though. You know what I mean? Like, am I dropping her aggro faster than I think I am, and then she's just pathing randomly towards me, or what? You care? Just kill me. I give a fuck less about that note at this point. I just want... See, like this. This is not spooky or scary to me at all tech problems you had this week were frustrating i'm sorry about that mate i'm holding to interact yeah but like see like something like this isn't scary it's just tedious to, like, try to get the loop right. Are you fucking serious? It literally stopped pushing. The cart stopped pushing. Oh shit, you're a lot closer than I thought you were.
I'll heal as soon as I get this motherfucker across the way. That's so dumb. I'm sorry you had a bunch of tech problems, though, but I am glad the week's over for you. There's nothing worse than, like, an overly frustrating work week. Um, this is a complete and total pain in the ass. And we're out of fucking bandages. And we've got, we've got one battery. Yay. You know what one battery means? It means we can't use our fucking battery. It opened. Okay, battery. Now you can detox all weekend? Oh yeah, because it's holiday weekend, right? So that's awesome. Nothing for you, but just a bit frustrating, right? Um, what's that note? Let's read this note. All right, tell me more. Give me more. You have thousands of names, and I know none of them. All I know is it's not God. No, it's not Yahweh or Ezekiel, uh, nor any dog leash. Give me pleasure, cut my skin, burn me, crush me. Hmm. Wow. Some really fucked up stuff going on in this place. Hey, listen. Some really, really fucked up stuff. Can you get the hat or the jacket? I haven't set that up yet. It's something that I've considered, um, if I'm honest with you. I've thought about... Um, You double check and see if you get Tuesday off. I've thought about setting up another redeem to take something off on Casual Friday, um, but I haven't I haven't went through the effort of putting it together yet. It's definitely something I've thought about though. Um, I thought about maybe doing like the hat or something. We could do the jackets, but the jackets would probably be a little bit more expensive, um, point wise. Um, but it gives some of you guys because right now, no, 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 it's all good. Because, like, right now, for a lot of you guys, like, after you get your tie redeem, like, and you save up your 200,000 points, there's not really a whole lot to you. I mean, like, we have some stuff, and I'm trying to use Dixper and stuff more on some of the games we're playing. And trying to do some stuff to give you guys, like, things to use your points on. And, uh, you know, trying to maybe bring some troll alerts back and some games. But there's really, you know what I mean? Like, channel points are one of those things. Um, but, yeah, part of it was the thought of like maybe setting up some other stuff for like casual Friday redeems and shit like that. Judge going to end up with no clothes. I mean, if people want it and you know, I can do it and it's a way to have fun and give back to the community. And you know what I mean? Like then I'm all about it. I just have to think of a good way to do it. It just has to make sense. Okay. Never fun again. Think of Chris Farley, fat guy in little coat, or shit. Now don't get me wrong, I've I've lost some weight um, since I started working from home, but I'm still a pretty healthy sized guy. You gotta remember, I'm still 6'2", 220-ish. Probably 220. I used to be 240. But I think I'm probably around 220 right now. So I'm still, I'm still a pretty good sized guy. You don't need to go broke because of you guys. Ah, it's worth it though. If you guys save up hundreds of thousands of points and you're here every day and you're you're hanging out and you're relaxing and you're chatting and you're you're lurking and you're helping support the channel. Um, I mean, why shouldn't I try to give back if I can? Chapel. The chapel is supposed to be sanctuary. You're at 240 right now? Yeah, exactly. See? So um just got to find a tie. I'm ordering new ties this weekend. Um, just because I'm starting to get low on them. So we're going to order some some more ties. Who's dicks? Um, I literally don't see whose dicks that was on any of my three screens. Kilkey, thank you for your dicks. I have three screens up. And that, that didn't show up on any of them.